Mnogi će se složiti da svijet u kojem živimo prolazi kroz tektonske društvene promjene. Značajan dio toga zbiva se zbog tehnološkog napretka koje je omogućio nikad prije viđeno povezivanje ljudi, ali također dolazi do promjena mentalnih obrazaca i načina shvaćanja svijeta. Pitanje glasi, u kojem se smjeru svijet mijenja? Možemo li promatranjem suvremenih trendova, kako onih vidljivih, tako i onih dubljih, naslutiti u kojem će se obliku pojaviti neka nova svjetska kultura? To pitanje, koje jednako pripada svima, od tehnologa do sociologa i filozofa, zaokupilo je pažnju i danskog filozofa i mistika Martinusa. Iz te perspektive, pitanjem nove svjetske kulture pozabavit ćemo se i ovdje, na rubu znanosti. Dobro večer. Daniel Lopačić je međunarodni predavač duhovne kozmologije prema skandinavskom filozofu, mistiku i kozmologu Martinusu. Dobro večer. Dobro večer, good evening. Već smo se družili dva puta na temu Martinusa i nekih njegovih pogleda na svijet i svega što sa tim ide. Danas nam je tema zapravo kolokvijalno rečeno kuda ide svijet ili nova svjetska kultura sa svime što ona nosi. Pa koja bi bila za početak tradicionalna definicija ljudske kulture, a koja bi bila ova kozmološka, kojom to je zapravo perspektiva kojom se danas i bavimo. Ok, first, it's great pleasure to be here again. And before we start, I'd just like to point out several things. First, this program is time limited and for general audience. Therefore, it must be simplified and adjusted accordingly. It's not transformative, like lecture is not one. It's just informative and for some people could be inspirational. And the second, uh, not 9,000 pages that Martinus created, not even 9 million pages in, in some convenient language, would be enough to uh, explain all life phenomena. So instead, Martinus gave us this uh, cosmic logic infrastructure in, a, in a terms of uh, cosmic laws and principles. So like in the math, if you know the algorithms, you would be able to solve almost any task. So we, Martinus presenters, do exactly the same. We use Uh, logical interpolations and extrapolations to give some answer, including this one and the uh, uh, formation of the new world culture. Now, uh, in traditional terms, the uh, culture is basically identical as civilization. Uh, and culture is changing, and these uh, 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 changes are incremental. And uh, they're seen uh, as a new view of self, of uh, environment, nature, God. Within the science of culture, there are many self-explainable departments, avenues. So we have cultural identity, uh, cultural imperialism, uh, uh, urban culture, popular culture. Uh, in nowadays, is uh, intriguing cyber culture, security culture, cultural deprivation, cultural gap, cultural clash. Um, as usual, the best definitions come from the, from the field outsiders. In this case, from the two Brits from 19th century. Uh, one was po poet and critic, uh, Matthew Arnold, and another one was uh, his contemporary anthropologist, uh, Elder uh, Taylor. And uh, both of them were um, coming with, with definitions that are close to the cosmological definitions. That's why they are valid. Uh, first defined uh, culture as the uh, cultivation of the, uh, the highest ideals. And uh, anthropologists define culture as uh, evolution of a religion. So they're uh, close to the ocean, never seen the ocean, uh, but they, they smell the fragrance of the ocean air, figuratively speaking. So Martinus defined culture as a uh, uh, stage of evolution towards the light. And uh, with a specific mental climate, which is in analogy with the physical climate. And the culture person is the one that uh, uh, is has the permanent ability to combat all remaining dark spots in its own consciousness in order to comply with the cosmic laws in order to be the, uh, the, the integral part of some well-ordered society. Mm -hmm. And now the new world culture, surprise, no one defines. Why? Because <coughs> philosophers and, and uh, futurists, which usually uh, 
deal with anything uh, or speculate better on anything new, uh, they he didn't have clue where this civilization is heading. Mm -hmm. So they believe, like most, that we would finish in a doomsday and, uh, and that cultural assets will vanish together with the living space. Uh, and the reason for it is the killing principle in people. And tool will be artif artificial intelligence, most likely. But the Earth wouldn't allow that. So Earth wouldn't commit suicide. And by the way, the Earth controls these uh, human uh, cells, power brokers. So it won't happen simply. And uh, just a moment. And uh, the new world culture, uh, uh, we will define through the program. But basically, it is when one becomes the, the, the master that in, he doesn't need anymore any teacher. So he would create, uh, not blind faith, but um, uh, reasonably happy faith for happy faith for itself. Mnogi će se složiti, a možda to vredi i za svih ovih pet i pol tisuća godina povijesti koju bilježimo, da je svijet malo onako kaotičan. Pogotovo u kontekstu kultura, pa postoje i međukulturni sukobi, pa postoje kulturni imperializm i sve drugo. Drugim rječima, naša trenutno zemljska kultura svakako nije stabilna, miroljubiva kultura, samo održavajuća, nego tako je to generira, svako jake neravno teže. Zbog čega bi zapravo taj, od kura u stvari taj, rekli bismo, kaotični moment i hoće li se sa tim drugim vrednostima na neki način svijet promijeniti u nekakvo ravnoteženije stanje? Svijetno je svijetno 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 energije od univerzije. Svijetno konsijesno svijetno kulturu ne izvršeno od te rule. Svijetno imamo intuiciju energy of expansion, energy of contraction, intelligence, intuition, and memory. Uh, none ever seen them, but like a wind, we recognize them through the effects. Uh, last three are higher energies, and uh, the intuition is the, is the superior one. And uh, there is a, a law of symmetry of basic energies, which uh, regulates unfoldment in a way that we get uh, one contrast at the time in accordance with a, a, a attained level of development. In the case of average human, it means that uh, uh, the highest in him is energy of expansion and in latency is intuition. And ascending course are uh, energy of uh, contraction followed by intelligence and descending course are instinct and uh, faded away memory. Uh, As a result, we get what you suggested, this chaotic uh, uh, consciousness, uh, unpredictably predictable behavior. On one side, you have these mental explosions and implosion scenes like hostility, antagonism, uh, uh, seen as, as depressions, mental disorders, also exaggerated sympathy, like falling in love. And on the other side, you have humane faculties. Which one would prevail in any given moment depends on uh, a relative amount of this energy of expansion, free, and uh, amount of uh, encapsulated the same energy of exp expansion. So such person, such individual believes that he's always right. So he obviously cannot grasp and relate to anything is, uh, which is above his head. And at the same time, he despises anyone who is uh, less developed than him. And primitivism is not crime or, I don't know, illness. It's just stage of evolution. So he's angry because Uh, figuratively speaking, child is not adult and he cannot grow overnight. He's also angry at anyone who treats him injustice in an unkind way. And such person cannot be happy in life. And such person cannot forgive the one he, uh, he dislikes. And as individuals of the nations, so they create this culture, old world culture of uh, distrust, uh, disrespect, uh, based on uh, 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 cosmic ignorance and superstition and fears. Uh, the culture of conflicts, of conflicts and, and wars, the, the culture of uh, uh, worshipping death. And this culture cannot uh, uh, save itself, not to mention the world. Uh, and uh, sim people simply cannot do better because they cannot act from the level they didn't attain yet. And uh, this culture, of course, will collapse because it's not the intention of the universe to, to freeze this state. And the reason for it is, uh, according to Martinus, is uh, lack of, uh, of neighborly love. It's, and reason for that 
is because uh, uh, he treats anyone as a refugee, uh, or better, lost refugee between the and away between uh, animal kingdom to true human kingdom. Stare. Uh-huh. Uh, Civilizacije su imale ideju o ciklusima. Mi također danas imamo ideju o ciklusima kad pričamo recimo o godišnjim dobima, u danu, u godini, bez problema uvećavamo cikluse. Međutim, u starim tradicijama se pričalo o ciklusima uspona i padova civilizacije ljudske svijesti koje su se prostirali preko tisuća godina. Često puta su se koristili velikom Platonovom godinom i tako dalje. Ako se zapravo pogleda ta stari način razmišljanja, a i malo logike primjeni ako je u ciklusima sve oko nas na mikrorazinama, ovim našim zemljskim, naravno da ćemo moći sličan obraz preslikati na svemir i zapitati se koji to ciklusi vladaju sunčevim sustavom, galaksijom i ko zna još do kakvih mi možemo ići razmjera. Ako smo zapravo unutar jednog cikličnog principa, onda u stvari je lakše objasniti kako stvari funkcioniraju i stvari imaju zapravo svoje mjesto i vrijeme i razlog postojanja. Kako se iz perspektive tih razvoja kultura prošlih, budućih i ovog gdje smo danas, zapravo kakva se slika može nekako izlučiti ako se uzme u obzir da postoje ciklusi kojih nismo svjesni? Jo, right. New world culture is part of the, of the cycle as anything else. Uh, Uh, we'll, we'll start from the basic uh, cycle principle, just for the viewers to, to have the, the, the idea. On one side you have uh, absolute uh, uh, stillness, and the others, on the other side uh, you have uh, absolute movement. So where is absolute stillness is timeless. There is no time, no space. So it's, it's causes, cause, area of the, of the eyes, and the other side you have uh, Uh, this eternal movement where is time and space the dimensionality. That's the prime cycle. And uh, uh, every other cycle is within. Uh, the cycle principle organizes all contrast in, in existence. Each cycle consists of uh, two points. One is culmination and one is latency. And uh, also has a built-in uh, seasonality sub-principle. So, um, We have uh, cycles uh, which people recognize, like cycle of day and night, uh, cycle of a year, cycle of uh, 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 physical life, uh, cycle of matter, cycle of, uh, of um, uh, um, I would say, uh, forget. <laughs> and uh, uh, also uh, people uh, uh, do not recognize some cycles. For instance, those are crucial for understanding of eternal world picture, like a cycle of, a cycle of uh, reincarnation. Uh, reincarnation is simply a, a link, necessary link between the evolution and eternal existence. And uh, reincarnation uh, uh, provides the conditions for us to, to uh, uh, learn through the speech of life. Uh, learning uh, unpleasant from pleasant good. And uh, whoever denies re- reincarnation practically denies uh, 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 the existence of justice in the universe. When you look from <coughs> the span of one life, everything is unjust, it's chaotic, it's spirit. And uh, then we have the cycle of, uh, also unrecognized cycle of fate, which is the law of uh, return of energies, law of the cause and effect. And uh, uh, This cycle assures that whatever we send out, it comes back to us. For instance, you create some local disorder, uh, uh, it must be nullified. And uh, uh, this nullification takes place with the release of our own produced karma uh, in diluted, concentrated form or in original form. And what is affected is only uh, uh, our uh, temporary identifiers, so consciousness and its extension to the body and uh, are not affected are uh, prime uh, identifiers i and uh, and ability to create and uh, we are exposed to numerous uh, cycles of fate cycles of fate in different stages of completion and then we have cycle of um, of um, eternal life a cosmic spiral cycle where uh, civilization is positioned in a culmination of dark uh, principle in the winter zone of, of animal uh, section of existence. 
And the, the summer principle, when we are true human beings in this connected stage in the higher realms of existence. People do, uh, do not recognize cosmic laws and principles, even though those cycles are from uh, uh, microcosmos to the macrocosmos. They're like a child in a cradle. Uh, they cannot recognize the loving speech of their parents. And uh, I would like also to point out something, uh, something crucial. It's that each cycle, uh, the, practically the purpose of the cycle to bring anything to, the, to its fruition, to be joy and blessing for everyone. Why? Because nothing is born and it's finished. So uh, uh, the fruit is immature, they're not, say, uh, they're not tasty, but as mature fruits, they're divine like anything that the universe provides for us for, for daily situation, like sleeping, eating, drinking, uh, having sex, uh, uh, toilet needs, even dying when body becomes dysfunctional. And uh, also, uh, people try to, to copy-paste the nature, not always uh, successfully, but still it's better, for instance, uh, finished building than, than construction site or finished novel than just one initiated. And, uh, uh, imagine, uh, for instance, farmer that uh, confuses April with, uh, with uh, this December, uh, what mess he would create. And that's exactly what people do in, uh, in their lives. Koji su predobiti zapravo za razvoj neke nove svjetske kulture koja bi se tako u nekom boljem smislu nastavila kao produžetak ovog gdje smo sada? Koji su još ti principi za razvoja svijeta koji se tu možda mogu biti malo i previđeni? Yeah, we have to go into the essence of thing. It means uh, how we uh, at all move forward, how we do evolve. And that's the uh, uh, complex interplay of several basic principles. And, but we must say that we also do not regress. We won't turn uh, uh, into animals, so plants wouldn't turn into stone. The uh, prime desire in all living beings is just to live. And all of their desires uh, stems from that. You can see in the cockroach, in a, in a human cell, defending itself in a galaxy. And uh, uh, what would be a uh, um, natural uh, range of desires, uh, that depends on uh, inner cosmic structure and attain level of development. For instance, uh, for Tiger, it wouldn't be natural to sit in a car, drive to the restaurant and order the meal. Uh, he is equipped by nature with a perfect weapon tool for, for hunting his meal. Uh, then uh, uh, everybody tries to, to, uh, to live according to pleasure principles. So we try to attract the pleasure and distract uh, uh, displeasure, valid for all living beings in the entire universe. What is pleasure or displeasure? That's relative category. For instance, uh, uh, you are out on a bitter cold and uh, you dream to get in. And someone is uh, in the same house in the Finnish sauna and, and after a prolonged time he dreams to get out. So somehow room temperature is a solution for this both. And also there is another cosmic principle which regulates uh, um, uh, hunger and satiation cycle throughout uh, eternal, eternal time. It's alteration of these two cycles uh, precisely. And uh, uh, when one completes, com, uh, finish one cycle, he, uh, that's the principle, he tries to long for the opposite of what was the finished, what achieved its own culmination. Uh, and I'll try to explain for the viewers to realize this picture better. For instance, you have some, uh, someone who, who believes that uh, accumulation of wealth, uh, honors, uh, fame, uh, would produce uh, love, uh, respect for him, uh, security in life, and, and so on. It won't. And then uh, when he realizes that, he's satiated, and then he starts to long for the spiritual values, something he truly misses, like uh, true education, uh, true refinement, uh, enjoying an art instead of collecting it. But sine qua non for moving forward is existence of the country's principle. So something must stand out from the surrounding. If you get, uh, uh, I don't know, white font uh, on a white screen, you cannot, mm -hmm. you cannot read, you cannot sense. With no sense, it's no experience. With no experience, no uh, cosmic renewal with, uh, or renewal of consciousness. Without renewal of consciousness, it's not moving forward. And people often ask us uh, which contrast is the, the best one. Again, it depends on the situation cycle. 
uh, if you are, uh, for instance, saturated with the, with the life in solitude, you in, engage in a social intense life. And then again, uh, satiated, you, you go into solitude. And uh, it's like in the yin and yang, uh, this uh, uh, dynamic balance of energies. Nothing prevails. Kada pričamo o povijesti kulture na zemlji, uvijek vidimo da je negdje u središtu bio neki religijski ili kozmološki princip. Uvijek je bila neka interpretacija svijeta, bez obzira li bila okrenuta prirodi, Bogu, materializmu, neka ideja o svijetu postoji koja pokušava obuhvatiti načini kako je on stvoren i što ga vodi i tako dalje. Kako je bila uloga tog, možemo ga nazvati, religijskog principa u razvoju neke, nadamo se, nove svjetske kulture koja se možda rađa iz kaosa, koja možda na neki način ima neke veze sa nekim kozmičkim principima, a ipak u sebi i dalje sadrži tu ljudsku potrebu koja je dovela do pojave tog jednog središnjeg religijskog principa, da ga nazovemo tako. Ja, religijski princip je uvijek uvijek redemption i seksualni princip je interkonekti. Ali long ago, kada ljudi bili barbarijus, prvi primitivni tribi, ne imaju problemu o existenciji higher spirits. Uh, even though that they couldn't perceive them uh, physically. And the same is valid for the, for the animals, this built-in uh, organic function. And uh, how we recognize that through, through uh, when they are in mortal dangers, both people and animals, they cry for help to the address to the unknown. Uh, for animals is valid that in, in for instance, slaughtering houses, in, uh, when people were jumping in New York, to, uh, from Twin Towers during the 9-11, or just in extreme sports. Someone jumps from the heights, uh, he addresses to the unknown to be supported, not to be killed. So, um, uh, this is basically a uh, first spiritual function within this animal section of existence. And in next in distinctive line, uh, we have people that uh, uh, were instinct faculty and automatically this religious principle was diminished. Uh, on account of that, they, they gain a little bit uh, of intelligence, low one, and some primitive human feelings. Enough for blind believing, but uh, these people don't ask, uh, do not ask questions. They're not inquisitive. So they enjoy a little bit these religious uh, ceremonies and rituals. And uh, for them, it makes sense, for instance, that uh, uh, Eva came from the Adam's rib, or the virgin birth of Christ, but doesn't make sense to, to forgive and always, always for, forgive, and also to, to love your neighbor as yourself. It's too abstract for them. And then we have a, a slight intervention of this world uh, redemption principle, which means that um, uh, this uh, uh, animal instinct in them must be diluted. And also they have to be compensated for the loss of this uh, religious principle, And these are uh, the teachings of the so-called modern religions. Uh, true human beings, as Christ and Buddha, reincarnated temporal on earth, and brought a little bit of light, not with the purpose to be the final, uh, final expression of the truth. That's uh, the, the announced in Talmud or in, in a, in a, by Christ as the comforter, as the uh, Holy Spirit which is not the second coming of Christ, but in fact, the new science. Which one? The one that I use right now to explain this, which is a certain aspect of it called intellectualized Christianity. We are now in an intellectualized Christianity level. And then uh, religions are static, people move forward, and uh, uh, this uh, faculty of intelligence grows. And people for the first time started to ask some logical question. For instance, one is, if uh, if God is almighty and all loving, and uh, if uh, God creates the people, and if there is no afterlife, how come that someone was born in, in a wealth and in health, and someone was born in a misery and, uh, let's say, with uh, genetic diseases? Where is the universal justice? And priests kept answering the, um, the ways of God are unknown. So they didn't buy it. And also, um, they didn't like the fact that their own... Uh, uh, Egoistic prayers haven't been answered, so they quit. So they become as materialistic, as godless as one can be. But in fact, they are never disconnected from the providence. Because everything is controlled, this intention of the universe to be that way. And uh, 
they must embrace something. And uh, what they embraced was their new religion is materialistic science. And the science is based on intelligence. And intelligence uh, is, uh, being intelligence is not the same as being the wise and being intellectual. Intelligence is just faculty that uh, we use in order to, to analyze the sense and, and experience. No more, nothing more. And intelligence also can be in function of the war and very ugly things, and in function of the peace and joy and, and good for all. And um, uh, material science uh, uh, can provide some, some softness and easiness in, in the material aspect of life, but they absolutely cannot provide any, any solution for the, for the big uh, questions of life. Why? Because they are confined into time and space dimensionality and answers are outside. And uh, they can, I don't know, mix the chemicals they invented today with uh, those invented yesterday. They can crisscross genes to see what would happen and so on. So they kept their purpose. And um, now you see the situation. Uh, religions cannot provide moral support or spiritual foundation. The science cannot. And what would happen? Free fall for the people. So they create this really uh, satanic conditions on earth. We are all aware of them. And who is the Satan? The people. Mm -hmm. No one else. And uh, uh, it's something is, is of crucial importance that um, uh, people cannot change themselves uh, on their own. They cannot change themselves by the force and they cannot change themselves through the miracle. So how it can be done? The universe has the means to send both individuals and nations to their knees. Once uh, 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 they are two writers, they believe that they are always right. And sending them to the knees, it means exposing them to the conditions when they must ask themselves, uh, what uh, must I do in order to be saved? And then you see the situation with the, with the condition that created this ill fate in people. These are obviously the wars or natural catastrophes and alike. Kako bi zapravo taj religijski princip u nekakvoj drugačijoj postavljenoj kulturi djelovao i zapravo gdje se u takvom razmišljanju jednom, rekli bismo, spiritualnoj kozmologiji, Martinu se nalazi uopće ovih pojmovi na koje smo tako naučeni tijekom povijesti i sadašnjosti, konkretno Bog? To je tough question and this is the most misconceptualized phenomena throughout human history. Uh, majority people still believe that God is some anthropomorphic personality, mu much more superior than us uh, sitting on a chair uh, up in the skies. And those that do not believe in a God, uh, atheist, uh, they said we never heard or seen one, so it doesn't exist. In fact, uh, they never seen, heard or felt anything else but some aspect of God in themselves or outside in any interaction they have in life that's that's the meeting the God. And uh, uh, to blur the picture, to confuse the things, these traditional religions separated the God on one side and uh, from the created world on the other, another side. Any valid principle of God must include tri triune principle, meaning in inseparable I from its uh, creative ability and the created world. Uh, Martinus came with a brilliant definition of God as the absolute synergy of unity of the triune principle and life within life principle valid for infinity or uh, totality of all living beings within uh, eternal universe. Uh, the Godhead uh, is, uh, has its own consciousness <laughs> like any other living being, but peculiar things is that must be at peak all the time. So God is awakened in a way all the time and consciousness is composed of two parts. Uh, complementary. One is prime in the light and one is secondary in darkness. Prime is composed of totality of uh, all true human beings in disconnected states and they control life from there. And uh, uh, secondary is composed of uninitiated uh, true human beings that populate animal and, uh, and plant section of, uh, of the eternal cosmic cycle. And uh, 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 they create darkness in order to experience darkness, in order to, to get uh, into the light zone. So, through individual renewal of God's uh, of consciousness, they is, uh, recreated all the time the consciousness so, uh, of, uh, of Godhead, of the entire universe. And uh, another thing to point out is that uh, uh, 
the God is double poled as any other being, and the universe structure of the universe is replication of holographic principle. Kada pričamo o tranzicijskom razdoblju koje je zapravo uvijek, ako pričamo o jednom cikličnom principu razvoja svijeta, uvijek je tranzicija po sredi, bez obzira da li, kako ste rekli, početak proljeća, sredina ili kraj. Naravno da uvijek, kako bi se reklo, neke biljke visi bave iziđu prve, pa neke iziđu malo poslije, pa neke čekaju do ljeta i sl. Kako bismo mogli, recimo, možda bismo mogli popričati o eventualno prijemčivosti ljudi za neke modele koji bi možda bili manje fragmentirani od ovih koje ste sad upravo opisali. Pa na koji način i kako bi se recimo nekakva drugačija matrica postojanja ili razmišljanja o svijetu s obzirom da kultura dolazi kroz ljude, onda mora i ona, njene promjene dolaziti kroz ljude. Na koji način i kroz koga bi recimo u današnjem svijetu mogli promatrati recimo nekakvu takvu zamišljenu ljestvicu, piramidu, top listu, da tako kažemo, receptivnosti na neke stvari koje zapravo mi primjećujemo dosta oko sebe, da danas su mnoge teme aktualne koje prije nisu bile, pa nekih polja absorbiraju, neki gore, a to opet ima veze i sa karakterima, koji pak ima veze i sa zanimanjima, odabranjima i sl. Ok, you use one uh, uh, tough, precise word, which is uh, receptivity and receptivity of what receptivity of the stream of uh, of the new energy which makes uh, the mental images and and uh, visions of uh, of higher quality in each of us so uh, the general principle that it's from uh, from macro beings such streams uh, go into mesocosmic conditions in our case it's from the central part of the milky ways the streams of uh, that kind of high potency high quality energies Uh, come to the earth. And who is the best recipient? Those are a uh, minority of true uh, philosophers. They have imbalanced the, the, the intelligence and the feeling functions for a long time. And next in line are those with a little bit more developed feelings than intelligence, which you can find in true uh, uh, artists and, and top authors. And shoulder to shoulder to them are those which have a little bit more developed intelligence than the feeling that you can find in humanely oriented scientists, also minority. And at the bottom are criminals. Why? Because they have a big gap between the, the uh, insensitivity, total human insensitivity and some intelligence. And uh, next to them are those that do not easily enter into this area of unauthorized crime. So they control themselves, but they perfectly swim in the area of autorized crime in, let's say, some uh, uh, tycoon-infested kleptocracy. Mm -hmm. And the uh, logical question is, what about this uh, uh, political, economical, religious, uh, 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 social leaders in some country? Where are they? Uh, they're too busy pampering their own sense of uh, grandiosity, greatness, and they also they cannot see that old ball culture is dying out. It's exhausting itself. So, to paraphrase the Christ, the, the, the first will be the last. Mm -hmm. Danas živimo uh, u vrijeme koje uh, neki zainteresirani za neke poglede možda bolje učavaju, neki drugi uh, još uvijek zapravo možda imaju jači osjećaj da žive u nekom starom svijetu, ali svi bi se složili da je nekako ovako tranzicijsko razdoblje, samo niko ne može naći zapravo pravu perspektivu otkud bi se sagledalo što se zbiva, pa je to je ovaj misli jedan pokušaj takve perspektive. Danas vidimo da su razni alternativni pogledi na stvari u porastu. 70-ih, 80-ih, 90-ih uvijek je bilo alternativa i 60-ih i krajem 19. stoljeća, međutim danas u kombinaciji sa internetom, sa interesom i tako dalje, imamo mnogobrojne alternativne poglede na svijet od arheologije, zdravlja, fizike, biologije, neki kažu da rastu i nove paradigme u znanosti. Međutim, ti alternativni pogledi na svijet, oni neće otići. Oni, koliko vidimo, samo rastu i jačaju i stječe se ovako dojam kao da se na svijetu nastaje nekakav jarak, rekli bismo, između dva pogleda koji se međusobno udaljavaju i koji imaju neke osobine koje sad nećemo ulaziti u detalje da ne potrošimo vrijeme. No, Također neke pojave koje su zabilježene u novije doba se isto više pojavlju nego nekada recimo William Tiller, jedan američki znanstvenik je ustanovio da se placebo pojačava, što je zanimljivo s obzirom da je placebo u stvari učinak gdje uvjerenja mijenja u fizičku stvarnost tijela i tako dalje. Sinkroniciteti su postali ubičajna tema među ljudima, nekad davno nisu bili. Znači nešto se događa, mada ne znamo što, 
i događa se na temelju na području uvjerenja o svijetu, koje onda naravno posljedično generiraju i neke druge zaključke i akcije kako to već ide. Pa kako vi vidite tu podjelu i da li je to zapravo iz vaše perspektive, rekli bi se, točno zapaženje da se na neki način tako svijet pomalo polarizira na dva neka temeljna gledišta i ako već pričamo o novoj svjetskoj kulturi i nekim novim trendovima, možda bih se mogli pronaći na toj svjetonazorskoj razini. Svjetno je to. But uh, people have no clue what's going on and behind in a cosmological level. Uh, behind all these processes is uh, the macro being the Earth. Earth is in the threshold of uh, cosmic initiation and as such must purify and, and uh, harmonize its own body. Uh, and uh, in order to do that, it won't tolerate any more the local disorders, must be newly fight. And who creates these disorders? These two-thirds of the people with the still uh, uh, prevailing uh, uh, killing uh, uh, principle in their consciousness. And uh, there are two ways, either to get rid of them uh, or to uh, be with the keynote of the universe, which is love, uh, to give them opportunity to grow up and level up with people that already Uh, achieve certain level of uh, intellectuality and humanness. So obviously will be this last uh, option and uh, how it will be done through, through physical separation. So we have two classes of people, uh, uh, advanced, primitive. This primitive must go through, uh, must experience uh, a release of uh, highest concentration of uh, dark accumulation of their own karma through the previous period, wrong thinking and wrong acting, in a very short period of time in order to, to, um, to accelerate the process of their own growth. Uh, so how it's done? Through physical migration and through a uh, totally unknown uh, spiritual or soul or uh, reincarnation process. That's another level of migration. And I will illustrate through several phenomena what's going on. Long ago, when uh, tribes live in a, in a uh, isolation, uh, before the natural catastrophes caused them uh, to be on the road and, uh, and fight for the land and, and living space uh, against the other tribes, the nationalism as collective egoism was a uh, holy blessing, unify, unifying factor. Not anymore. <clears throat> Since uh, those days, till nowadays, when mapping of national territories is not over, nations still fight over the borders, uh, the nationalism is just the nightmare. Another phenomenon, uh, uh, it's uh, creation of uh, many international states. How? Uh, uh, the gains of, uh, of this uh, uh, science created conditions that uh, we feel less and less uh, distance from the foreign cultures, the nations, individuals. We are network, we depend economically on each other. And people also grow interest, and this interest go into the passions, into love. And uh, uh, this many international states pop up everywhere uh, through uh, 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 expressing interest of people with very various backgrounds and nationalities. So we have uh, For instance, three cluster associations of hydrogeologists, cosmologists, uh, Ford Mustang lovers, uh, uh, fashion designers, endless. So uh, the old fashioned states are uh, uh, artificially homogenized and there is everything in it, like in flood water, flooding water, right? But uh, uh, we also notice that within one nation, the gap between uh, the most uh, primitive and the most advanced are growing by the hour. Why? Because of this influence of these new streams of energies and the uh, second is because the number of uh, population on earth is growing. The young souls are migrating. Where? To some nation state. And uh, uh, another phenomenon that is also unknown is uh, among the uh, open-minded and people with loving attitudes that like us sitting in a chair and they watch some foreign TV programs or they surf the internet and uh, suddenly they, they uh, recognize something of the universal value, uh, technological, artistic, and they admire uh, the authors. And uh, so in them grows uh, the world citizen. They're not only nation citizens, they're also international. And uh, uh, these people wouldn't ask for blood analysis of Tchaikovsky or uh, Shostakovich or Brahms or, or Tesla. 
unimportant. And, uh, and then also, uh, we have phenomena that uh, the other people are exposed to the same, but they keep the distance. They use the cars technology and, uh, and uh, uh, watch the foreign movies and, and listen to music, but they, they still even, uh, even cultivate animosity. In, in themselves. So they live in the societies that basically failed. They, they uh, uh, steal it from each other the joy of life and uh, they deplete each other from, from uh, really the good juices in life. And, and uh, from such societies people often emigrate. Uh, officially it's uh, economic uh, migration, but in fact it's just uh, being saturated with this uh, mental mm -hmm. climate. And uh, the recipients countries are, are in, in, in uh, perfect conditions of gaining and uh, the countries of origins are losing, but they don't care, in fact. Evo sad, na kraju iz prelaska u žutog u crveno, prema kraju emisije, eto, bilo bi zanimljivo čuti i kako bi takva je nekakve kulturalne transformacije, rekli smo kozmičke naravi čak ili kozmološkog razmišljanja, zapravo utjecalo je na same ljudske odnose. Yeah, behind uh, the human relations is in fact just one cosmic principle, which is sexual principle, which, uh, which uh, regulates uh, constellation between two, two poles, which determine the behavior and, uh, and uh, uh, appearance of the people. Uh, everybody is double-poled. Only in, in one-sixth of a uh, great cosmic spiral cycle within animal-animal and human-animal section uh, we have one pole beings. Why? Because there is no light, no brightness. Uh, it's hostile environment. And uh, people meet this highest energy of uh, existence, intuition during, during the climax of the sexual intercourse. Enough for the family-oriented life, enough for the uh, not interrupting reproduction chain, and enough for some kind of stimulation to, to move forward. Uh, with increasing of um, of interest in people, we have awakening of this second Nepal. And uh, uh, with awakening of this, we have a diminishing interest in own partner, the later on even his own sex. So we go from the, from the uh, zone of uh, happy marriages. Now, now we are in a zone of unhappy marriages, and we will end up in a zone of no marriages at all. So uh, the love is also um, totally uh, an, an unfinished concept uh, for the average human. They don't understand what is love, and love is certainly not this uh, capulatory, uh, conditional uh, infatuation. Uh, 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 and uh, proof for that is, for instance, if someone falls in love uh, and it's not uh, returned, the, the person uh, moves from the zone of sympathy into antipathy, hate, even could finish in a murder. Also, you have one VIP a guest entering the hotel and bellboy is uh, ready to help and when he doesn't receive a tip uh, his sympathy turns into antipathy. So the true love is radiance of energy that is for benefit of all. It's free of sympathy. Antipathy is, is uh, really uh, organic talent to, to be the most loving towards the others and also uh, love, uh, people believe that um, uh, love and justice do not go in bed together. The universe proved the opposite. When you experience the strike or bad luck, uh, nobody calls the love. But this opportunity to, go, uh, to grow let's say, uh, human faculties like compassion and humility within one life instead centuries of reincarnation. And you can ask yourself, uh, can you love the other children as yours with the same love strength? Or can you love the other human being, uh, including an enemy, declared enemy as yourself? Can you, can you love the God above yourself? Mm -hmm. Mission impossible. Mm -hmm. Kada već pričamo o tom pojmu, nove svjetske kulture koja u stvari predstavlja i način razmišljanja i način percipiranja svijeta i slično, dobro bi pitanje zapravo bilo što bi se dogodilo ili što će se događati sa strukturama moći koje su danas kanalizirane kroz ekonomiju, kroz politiku, kroz razne uh, društvene institucije. Kako će se taj segment društva za koji se čini da je regulatiran, važan i da bez njega se društvo ne može postojati, što bi se s njime moglo događati? Everything will collapse. <laughs> uvijek, sto, uvijek, sto, uvijek sto optimist, to mi se sviđa. <laughs> yeah, but to let's explain it. Uh, of course will be replaced with something much better. Uh, People will uh, uh, be free from own mental prisons and how it will be manifested. They would realize that it's a cosmic principle underlying all these current uh, divisions, polarizations, uh, uh, conflicts. 
that will realize that life is phenomenal if you know the right ways. They would realize that uh, life on Earth is in abundance, uh, uh, but under principle of equal distribution of assets. And uh, uh, they would realize the only real asset in them is their, uh, their abilities, their talents, their skills, their knowledge. It cannot be misappropriated, stolen, uh, uh, damaged, uh, lost, impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, so something that people uh, really put specific weight right now, it's uh, unfundamental, unstable, delusional. For instance, insurance. Insurance is uh, invention of the, of the nature, not by the industry. As long and as much as you protect the others in all three uh, cosmoses, you are protected. Mm -hmm. uh, the organizations, there are hundreds of millions of organizations around, why one doesn't prevail? Because that's the original intention. Uh, the reason is that, uh, the cosmological diversity principle. It wouldn't allow to be everyone under one roof. Uh, private property, everything is uh, confiscated, uh, usurpated from us. Uh, only air, uh, wind, uh, solar power is left. And we all have the, uh, in, in the ir irrespective of our backgrounds and et so-called ethnicity, we all have the right to all resources and all assets on Earth. And uh, uh, this will be returned through progressive ta taxation or, or inheritance tax or simply confiscated back to, the, to the, where it belongs, to the uh, cycle of matter, mm -hmm. to other people. And then... Uh, uh, that's based on the principle of cosmic permission. It's the right to, to use. Even our organism, physical, is borrowed. Uh, the cycle brings the element to us and brings out mm -hmm. from us. Dobro, i na kraju, kad smo vidjeli da će i države morat propasti, navike se ozbiljno promijeniti, ljudske odnose se promijeniti, društvene strukture u kojoj se uzdamo također, što zapravo i jest logično sve stanlo u promjeni, pa možemo samo anticipirati na temelju onog trenda koji vidimo oko sebe. Koje su dobro biti, zbog čega bismo se trebali, kako bi se reklo, veseliti takvim promjenama, takvoj jednoj zapravo, kako bi da se reklo, skoro duhovnoj znanosti temeljno na intuiciji o čemu se tu stvari radi. Koje bi bile dobro biti za čovjeka i zbog čega je to korak naprijed? That's exactly the current uh, all world culture is based on a, on, a, on a science which is based on, on intelligence and the new world culture is based on spiritual science which is the most uh, uh, underrated, uh, overlooked uh, knowledge in existence, which is based on the int intuition. So people would uh, have the access into inner, inner structure of life. Uh, people realize that they are immortal. People realize that the keynote of the universe is love. So everything is very good, in fact. People realize that uh, darkness and light are uh, just complementary parts in order to renew their own consciousness. People t would realize that uh, um, Universal justice exists because there exists this law of cause and effect and that they are creators of their own fate. Uh, so uh, this future life in, within the, the, the framework of the new world culture uh, will be beyond dreams. Why? Because there, there is no, no killing principle. It means no lying, no, no cheating, no, no propaganda, no advertising, no manipulation of any kind. Uh, on the other side, um, uh, will be free of physical and mental pollutions. So no tabloids, no reality stars, uh, no, no uh, professional sport, nothing of it. Nothing of any kind of trash. Uh, any interaction will be based on creativity. Uh, uh, people will fertilize each other's minds and, and souls. And uh, organism will be just one sexual paradise. People will be much more sensitive than now. So through touch or kiss, they will go into zone of massive orgasm not to mention, of course, the, the, the sexual intercourse. So uh, uh, such life is uh, simply beyond uh, uh, people's ability to contemplate right now. And they will be uh, practically, as I said at the beginning of the program, the master of their own fate, and it will be done in one spectacularly scientific, wonderful way. Mm -hmm. Daniel, Hvala vam na gostovanju i do neke sljedeće prilike doviđenja i nastavite biti takav optimist. Zapravo nisam još shvatio da li ste pesimist ili optimist. O tom ćemo razmišljati u vrijeme. U redu i to je dobar odgovor. Hvala i doviđenja. Hvala i vama na pažnji.
ako se nešto može sa sigurnošću reći za svijet, onda je to da se ništa ne može sa sigurnošću reći jer je svijet u stalnoj promjeni, bar nam se tako čini da se ne može ništa sa sigurnošću reći, a okolnosti koje okružuju svako novo vrijeme uvijek su nove i uvijek zahtijevaju prilagodbu i zanađuju nas bez obzira je li reći o društvenim, tehnološkim ili pak kozmičkim promjenama naše navike shvaćanja i uvjerenja o svijetu, svakako u velikoj mjeri određuju kakav će svijet biti oko nas, kako će biti ustrojen, ali ne treba isključiti da na sve nas djeluju i neki drugi još neprepoznati ciklusi. U očekivanju svijeta prilagođenog unutarnjim ljudskim težnjama želimo vam još samo laku noć.